Hello students, I am back for one more video of Applied English. Students, in my previous video, I have given an assessment task for you and uh, there are two parts, part 1 and part 2 that I have given. Students, based on that video, I am going to have a doubt solving video for you. Students, this is Saraswati Sisukunj Bhagwala Gursar and this is video number 11 and it's mainly a doubt solving video of the previous one that is video number 10. Students, I am going to write uh, all the answers on the board. Before that, I have already written some questions over here that you can see students and I am going to do listening along with you. You do, do listening and you are going to do the second time. Students, start listening and get your answers. I am going to write my answers on the board and then we will discuss what answers supposed to be. Students, it is a conversation between a lady, between a woman and a car seller. A lady wants some information from the car seller and what the conversation is about. You can get all the question answers over here when you start listening. And I will write my answer then we will discuss students about all the answers. Without delay, start your listening. The test is in four part, part one, part two, part three, and part four. Now look at part one. Part one. You will hear a woman talking on the telephone to a man about a car he is selling. First, you have some time to look at questions one to four. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to four. Hello, Brian Park speaking. Oh, hello. I'm calling about the advert in the paper. For the car? Uh, yes, the Mini you've got advertised for sale. Oh, yes. I just wanted to find out a bit more information. Of course. What would you like to know? It's my brother who's interested, actually. But he's not in today, so he asked me to call you. Fine. Great, thanks. So, it's a Mini? Yep. And how old is it? Just coming up to 13 years old. And I seem to remember from the ad that it's grey. That's it. Doesn't show the dirt. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, the colour shouldn't be a problem for Jeff. You know, the important thing is the quality. Yes, of course. And what about mileage? With it being pretty old, it's probably over 100,000? Actually, it's 40,000 less than that. 62,000 on the clock. Great. I remember now. I'm confusing it with another ad I was looking at. Right. Pleasant surprise, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been the only owner, or was there a previous one? I'm the second one. Before, it was owned by a teacher, who was a very careful driver, didn't have any accidents. Very good. And what about you? What do you tend to use it for? I haven't used it all that much, mostly for shopping. You know, this sort of thing. So, not much wear and tear. I'll make a note of that. I know Jeff wanted me to check that. Right. Hello students, I am back and I have finished my listening. I hope you have done too. Students, you can see my answers over here on the board and it is mainly on discussion. Students, I always tell in my videos, I always suggest that what you need to do, first you need to follow the instructions. Now let's come to the instructions. What is the instruction? Write one word or a number for each answer. 
so your answer should be only one word or a number not more than that so if you write two words are your answers going to be no your answers are not going to be correct only one word or a number okay let's follow color mileage previous owner was current owner has used a car name before uh, in the beginning as i have mentioned this is a conversation between a car seller and a woman now woman asks about uh, information and uh, in the beginning when she calls uh, brian picks up the phone and says uh, brian parks speaking and the lady replies yes uh, i want uh, some information about the car that we have advertised in the newspaper and it's not i but my brother wants to buy a car and i want a bit information would you like to give some information about the car brian replies yes what sorts of information do you need so when you listen uh, to the conversation very attentively you are going to get all four questions and it is how many it is one to four questions but what you need to do you need to pay attention and listen to the conversation very carefully okay students uh, now we are going to begin the whole kind of uh, you know discussion okay color when uh, you know she asks what type of color is it uh, then brand replies it's a gray you can hear very attentively and uh, you can get the answer now i have written there are two spellings of gray one is g r e y and g r e y both are correct if you have written any one of them then also correct if you have written both the answers then also correct okay then uh, but brian says yes it's a gray color but it does not uh, you know have a lot of dust that means a uh, gray color had looks uh, very dusty but brian replies no it is not that much a uh, gray uh, gray or it doesn't uh, doesn't show much dust okay then about my age brian says it's a 6 to o o o so on the meter if you do listening very carefully you get the correct answer okay then also previous owner now the lady wants to know about the further information and she asks brian that what is the owner who was the previous owner brian says the previous owner was a teacher and uh, the condition of the car is really good and single handed it was used so the previous owner was a teacher and i got Uh, from him so that is the you know who, who was a teacher that was the previous uh, owner of the car so if you have heard very carefully you got the correct answer okay students so let's move further current owner has used car name before now who is the current owner the current owner is brian and brian he mainly uses the car for he mainly uses the car for shopping so whenever he goes uh, shopping he wants uh, his car to be used and uh, his purpose is intend to use the car is shopping only so this is a very easy part that is part 1 and you have only one to four questions very easy and only one word if you do listening definitely you get it soon so what you need to do when you do listening imagine there is a woman there is a car seller both are talking over the phone and uh, the woman wants some information so what you need to do you need to create an image in your mind that there is a woman there is a seller selling a car and uh, the lady wants to buy no the lady does not want to buy but she wants some information and woman's brother wa wants to buy a car okay and what is uh, woman's brother's name it is jack okay that means his name is jack so this is all four questions okay i have written the answers also you can see on the board students now again i am going to play questions 5 to 10 so i write here 5 to 10 okay 5 to 10 questions that you are going to listen to it that means the conversation you know goes further and try to get 5 out of 5 that means you know 5 to 10 you are going to listen and then i hope that you will get it through 
this. Okay. Uh, without delay, we will play the second conversation and then I will write the answers on the board and then I will come up with the uh, all answers and then we will have one more discussion. Okay, that how answer is correct and what is supposed to be done. Okay, students. Now listen and answer questions 5 to 10. Now, about the price, I see you've got it down as £1,250. I'm not sure Jeff will be able to come up with that amount. In the ad, I did say 1250 or nearest offer. So, would you be prepared to go down to 1000 That's really too low, I'm afraid. 1100 I might be able to go to that. OK, I'll make a note of that. What about tax? Is it due soon? Got another five months before it's due. Oh, that's a real plus, yes. I'll make a note of that. OK. Now, you say it's in good condition. For its age, I'd say yes, definitely. It's just been serviced and there were no major problems. Major? I'd be able to show you the service report. The only thing is, you'd have to get a new tyre in the near future. Though it's still OK, you know. It's certainly absolutely safe at the moment. OK, fair enough. Yes, I understand. And the garage also mentioned that one headlight could probably do with replacing. They think there's a fault there, you know, intermittent... Well, we'd obviously look at all the documents, but that sounds very straightforward. Of course. I've got all the service documents up to date, and you can look at those. Well, it all sounds pretty good, and I know my brother will be interested. So, would it be possible for him to see the car? He's back from his trip tomorrow, and away tonight. So, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow? Wednesday? I'm, I'm afraid that's not possible. I'm out pretty much all day. Well, Thursday then? That'd be fine, yeah. In the morning? Yes, that'd suit me perfectly. Great! Now, you'll need my address. Oh, yes, of course. What is it? It's number 238. 238? London Road. Oh, that's easy enough. Yes, very straightforward. So, I'll pass on these notes to Jeff, and he'll see you in a couple... That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hello students, I am back. I have completed my listening of questions 5 to 10 and I hope that you have completed your listening and you have written down your answers in your answer sheet. Okay, you can see my answers students and always I say in my videos that what you need to do, you need to follow the instructions. So the same instructions is carried over. Write one word or a number for each answer. So the same instruction for question number 1 to 4 and 5 to 10. But have you heard the one more instructions was given? What is that? Before you hear the rest of conversation, you have some time to look at questions 5 to 10. Students, now the conversation continues and what you need to do when the time is given, some few seconds, you need to read the questions. Okay? So what is that? Price may accept offer. So it is regarding price. So there should be a particular number. Just read to guess. Okay. No, tax not due for three months. So if it is about five months or something, there would be a about tax. Condition good recently service, okay. Will need a new dash. That means there is a, something that a noun. Why? Because it is an adjective. So grammar also plays a role uh, when you do listening. So it is an adjective. So tire is a noun. Okay. Minor problem with dash. Okay, like, okay. A viewing 
agree to view the car on Thursday AM and the address 238 London Road. I have written a student's my answers and uh, you have written, we are going to discuss now what answers supposed to be. So students what happens, when you do listening very attentively, you are going to get answers uh, very clearly and all answers will get it correct. Students, the con uh, conversation begins between Briar and the woman. A woman wants some information about the car and that is a mini car. Uh, does that woman want to buy a car? No. Her brother Jack wants to buy a car. Okay. Now, you know, the conversation continues and uh, the woman asks Brian that what is the about price? Uh, the, in the advertisement, it is clearly mentioned that 1,400. That lady says, okay, but uh, that's too, uh, my brother cannot able to afford the car. And uh, Brian says, okay, but then lady is a bit reluctant. The woman replies that it is 1000. Brian says it's too low. I am afraid I cannot give. Then the lady says 1100. So what is the correct answer? 1100. Students, if you have done listening very carefully, you get the answers. Okay. Now they, they are talking about tax. So the woman asks, what about the tax? Have you paid? Brian says yes, it is 5 months extra. That means not due for 5 months. Okay. So the uh, date comes. Okay. And before that 5 months, they have already paid. That means Brian has paid. Okay. Condition, they are talking about condition. Good. Recently service. Okay. Is there any kind of service? Brian says yes, it has been serviced. Okay. And uh, there is no such problem uh, with the car. Uh, but only there is a minor problem and the minor problem that uh, I think it needs to replace a uh, tire. So we will need a new tire soon. Why? Right? Because the tire condition is not that good. And Brian clearly mentioned in the conversation. But what you need to do? You need to pay attention. Okay. Uh, we move further. Minor problem with a head. Like a new tire has to be changed for the car. And minor problem with a head. Like and Brian says that okay there is a minor problem then woman says minor problem Brian replies yes there is a minor problem with a headlight so what is the correct answer headlight now woman wants to see the car no her brother Jack wants to see a car but Jack is not there and it is clearly you know mentioned in the conversation and woman says that uh, Jack is not in stay that means Jack is out and he is going to come tonight. That means uh, what about Wednesday? Brian replies, what about Wednesday? Wednesday may not be possible because my brother is coming on Thursday. And uh, woman says in the morning, Brian replies, yes, don't worry, uh, it's okay. So you can come along with your brother on Thursday. AM, yes, it is AM. So always keep in mind students, it is AM. Okay, Thursday PM. And okay, what about your address? So Brian says 238 London Road. Clear this way. And you can hear students. Okay. So I have completed uh, doubt solving of total 10 question students and I hope you have done it. I hope students you have understood the doubt solving of part 1 questions 1 2 4 and 5 to 10. Students, this is a mainly doubt solving video that I have given a lot of uh, you know discussion and uh, suggestion of part 1 of 10 questions. Students, do listening and I am going to give an assessment task that I usually give after my video. Complete your assessment task. The test is in four part, part one, part two, part three, and part four. Now look at part one. Part one. I'm hoping to rent an apartment from September when I begin here, and I'd really like some advice on where to rent and how to rent a place. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five.
Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Hi. Hello. How can we help you? Is this the office of Institutional Real Estate? Yes, sir. My name's Alice Baum, and I'm a University Housing Supervisor. Oh, good. I wonder if you could help me. I'll certainly try, sir. I'm hoping to rent an apartment from September when I begin here, and I'd really like some advice on where to rent and how to rent a place. Advice on renting in Manhattan. We've got plenty of advice about that. The first thing to think about are the prices. New York is an expensive place to live, and Manhattan is the most expensive place in New York. Everyone wants to be here. In most areas of Manhattan, you'll have great difficulty finding a studio apartment for less than thirteen to fourteen hundred dollars per month. But there are areas just outside Manhattan, within a thirty to forty minute commute, where you can find a decent studio apartment to rent for eight hundred and fifty to a thousand dollars per month. That's a big difference. But then there are travel costs on top of that. Yes, there are. If you're prepared to make compromises in your choice of accommodation, perhaps you can find an apartment you like and can afford. Monthly rents also depend on two other factors: apartment size and then amenities. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Basically, bigger flats get higher rents. So if you can live without a lot of space, it's much cheaper. And if you're willing to take a flat which has street noise or doesn't have much natural light, then you may save some more money. I see. However, you could go the other way and get a bigger flat and share it with another student. You can cut costs by sharing a large bedroom. To find a roommate, check the listings for apartment shares in the housing registry. Share a flat. I hadn't given that idea much thought. Lots of our students do that. What about amenities? Can you explain that a bit more? You need to decide what facilities you really would like and what you can do without. For example, do you want a doorman? Would you like an elevator? These kinds of things put the prices up. I don't think I need a doorman. Is there anything else I should know? Yes. Remember, the housing market is very competitive, especially for affordable apartments. You need to be prepared to make decisions quickly and be flexible with your plans. Don't start your search earlier than four weeks before you want to move in, because tenants only need to give landlords thirty days' notice of their departure. Okay. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions six to ten. Now listen and answer questions six to ten. And make apartment hunting your life for two or three weeks. That should be enough time to get familiar with the market and find what you're looking for. What's the best way of finding a place? There are really only two ways: you do it yourself, or you get someone else to do it for you. That sounds interesting. How do I do that? There are property brokers who will find a place for you. They can guide you to the property of your choice and help you with the paperwork. Wow, that sounds great. But they do charge you a commission fee. In Manhattan, expect to pay between twelve and fifteen percent of the year's rent. That means if your rent is a thousand dollars a month, the broker's fee works out to eighteen hundred dollars. Oh, maybe not a broker then. And what's the other option again? Do the legwork yourself. Look in the classified ads, call landlord companies, and do online searches. Check out our website first. You mentioned paperwork. Could you tell me something about that? Sure. To rent an apartment, you may be asked to complete an application by your prospective landlord. You may also be asked to pay between fifty and two hundred dollars for credit reports. Landlords want to see evidence of steady income and good credit. I see. Because you're a full-time student, most landlords will require a guarantor, someone to guarantee you will pay the rent on time. And when the landlord approves your apartment application, be prepared to pay the first month's rent and the deposit when you sign the lease. That's a lot to think about, and it sounds like a lot of hard work. Thank you very much for the advice. You're very welcome, and good luck. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.